Welcome to the 10 micron unboxing video. Yes, this is how it was delivered. I was a bit afraid, but thankfully it was extremely well packaged. I cut that white sleeve all over, which revealed 6 boxes. None of the boxes were damaged in any way, so we are good to go. Alright guys, here we go. Time to open up this first box, which I believe is the main box. As you can see here, there is a few stickers. So inside we have the mount itself, a Perseus Lovell 3, head cover, polar finder holder, and the power supply. So let's open this up right away. So we have the mount here, which actually is much smaller than uh, the box itself because there is some extra protective foam on each side. Let's see here. Okay, it's pretty light. And then here we have another paper. Alright guys, let's see. Wow. Look at this mount. Okay, so here is the mount. Um, it's very pretty. It's, it feels so strange. It feels like there is oil or grease on it, but there's none. So it feels like super, super smooth. So strange. <sighs> so as you can see, we had the mount head itself, and we have a counterweight bar, which is uh, the same size as a Mighty, I would say. Maybe a bit thinner. And we have this knob here, which I'm guessing is for the altitude adjustment. And uh, yeah, so this is the mount, very pretty. Uh, I'm going to wait until we have the tripod open so we can put it on the tripod later. But um, yeah, so I'm going to put this aside for now and we'll take a look at it later from up close. Okay, so now here, I'm not sure what we have here. It came with the uh, mount head box. So I'm going to try to open this, but I'm wondering what it is. I'm guessing, oh yeah, I'm guessing it's the, uh, the cables, like power supply and uh, that good stuff. Let's see, yeah, it has to be. So let's see here, okay, some papers. So I'm going to read this really quick off camera. Uh, it tells you how to mount, uh, how to set up the mount and tells you what parts are here and some more important stuff, which is red, of course. Okay, so here, let's see what we have. What is that? Oh, I see, okay, I think I know what this is. Let's see. A head cover. So if you want to cover the mount head, it comes with a head cover. Pretty cool. Okay, so this is a head cover, as you can see, with GM1000 on it, 10 micron and it goes around the mount head. And in there we have more stuff. What seems to be an, oh, a hat, nice. It came with a hat. Didn't expect that. Cool. Okay, one free hat. Well, free, <laughs> not really. Uh, and then here, another tissue filling thing. It's pretty heavy, so I'm guessing some cables in there. So let's see here. Let's open this real quick and see what's inside. Oh, okay, cool. This is the uh, the brain of the mount. So this will connect to the mount um, and this is where everything goes. So all the cables go in, in this one box. So that's pretty cool. It comes with its own um, pouch, which is really interesting. Cool, cool. I love how everything feels very, very luxurious. It's really cool. Okay, here we have the cables. Uh, I know I'm going to have to buy the uh, battery cable for sure because the mount comes with either uh, an AC, so wall outlet cable with a power brick like we have here, or it comes with a battery cable. So uh, this one came with the AC cable. So I'm going to have to purchase the battery one for whenever we go on the field. But it's good to have both. Okay, more scary cables here, with like a bunch of different colors. Uh, I'm going to look at it more up close later. And here behind all these uh, little foam plasticky things, we have Perseus Lovell 3, 
This is a software that I will never use. And we have more papers, more important papers. And we have one last box in this, in this one box. Oh wait, something is hidden here. We have a Polar Finder holder here, which I don't think I will need because I have the Polemaster. Then here we have, uh, oh cool, it comes with its own uh, Allen set, uh, the Mighty as well. But this one is a bit smaller and uh, cool. So we can just carry this around in our bag in case something happens and we need to use uh, any of these to um, fix the mount or whatever if needed. And then the last one box here, I'm gonna make sure I have nothing left in here. Okay, this one last box. Let's see what's in there. Oh, the hand controller, cool. The hand controller, which once again, I never plan to use, but it's still nice. And once again, it has its own uh, little pouch, I guess in case uh, some dust gets on the, the controller, this protects it from it. Very cool. And we have one tiny thing here, software. Let's see. I completely destroyed this tiny box here. Oh, a USB stick. Okay, this is in case you need uh, to install some, uh, I guess, drivers, yeah, ASCOM drivers and some of the tools. You have your uh, 10 micron USB uh, flash drive here with everything already on it. Awesome. And so yeah, this was, oh, I forgot. Not only we have a hat, we also have a pen. So thank you for this magnificent pen. <laughs> it will be uh, put to great use. Okay, so you can see everything here on this table that came with this one box. So really quick to uh, show you guys, we have the keypad, I mean, hand controller, Allen, set, pen, hat, colorful cables, um, the, the, the brain of the mount here, the AC adapter, a DVD with some papers, USB flash drive, and lastly, the polarscope holder. Great, now we're going to get uh, a different box, and I'm guessing we're going to go with um, the bag for the mount head. So I believe this one is a bag for the, or case for the mount head. It says here flight case. So I'm guessing that is it. Um, it's pretty lightweight. It's pretty lightweight. So I'm guessing I'm right. Let's see. And of course there is a second box in the first box. Why not? Oh, it's an actual case. I thought it was a soft, a soft case, but it's actually a hot case, I think. Yeah. Wow, let's see. Wow, look at that. Okay, I did not expect that. Let's see. I did not expect that. I thought it was like gonna be like a small, uh, a small soft pouch, but this is like a, a very hard case, which I'm glad uh, because that is even more protective. Let's see, let's open this. Wow, it's nice. I am a fan. So we'll put the mount here later. As you can see, there is uh, the spot for the knob here, spot for the, um, the uh, counterweight bar and two extra spots, I'm guessing maybe for some cables and the mount itself. Awesome. Wow, this feels so nice. This feels really nice. 10 micron. All right. Okay, and since we are opening some uh, cases here, I think this one is a, a soft case. I think it's for the counterweights, let's see. I think it's probably the same brand of, of case. Yep, same brand. And it's once again a hard case, and I think this one is for the counterweights. Wow, it's like a tiny baby version. 
of the earlier case. Let's see here. I'm not sure if it's for the, uh, the counterweights. We'll see, maybe it's for both. You can maybe put like two counterweights here maybe, and uh, the hand thingy here. Oh, I'll check it out later. Interesting. Okay. So we have two beautiful cases. Okay, so let's now open the counterweights. And this one tells me that there is a three kilogram counterweight and two six kilogram counterweights. So we should have three counterweights in this. All right, three beautiful counterweights. This one is very light, has to be the three. And this one is the sixth. And that one as well, six kilograms. All right, those are three counterweights. And I'm guessing they might fit in the box, in the, in the case. Okay, this here is a half pillar. I'm not sure if we're going to need this, but this is important if you have a long telescope. For example, a long refractor telescope. Because if you have a long telescope, then uh, when you reach near the meridian, your telescope will hit your tripod legs. But with a half pillar, like the one I'm about to show you here, uh, you have plenty more room before it's going to hit the tripod. But so as you can see, uh, it's actually very small. It's uh, just going to sit on top of the tripod. So let me just show you real quick what it looks like. I have never used one of these before. Okay, so inside we have little tools here, little knobs. And some steel, very strong steel, and this will sit on the tripod. And uh, on top, you just put your mount head. And I'm getting those screws here attached on each side. Okay, so I will see if we need this or not. I'm not sure if we do, uh, but maybe we'll need this. Okay, we now have one last box to open. And I'm guessing you kind of guessed what this uh, this is. This is going to be the tripod. So let's open this real quick. I don't know if the tripod comes with a patch slash case or not. Uh, maybe not. Let's see. Oh yeah, it does. Nice. So I see a, a pouch here or a, a soft case. I can just remove that. Okay, so inside we have a triangle here. So, oh, it's huge. This is the uh, eyepiece holder. It's really huge. Wow, okay. And inside we have the uh, tripod inside of its soft case. So I'm going to grab it. Damn, it looks very, very long. Very, very tall, let's see. Okay, I'm kind of shocked by how heavy this tripod is. I think it's the heaviest tripod I've ever had. Let's see. Okay, this is definitely the heaviest tripod I ever had. Uh, let's open this case. Heavy but pretty, wow. Beautiful tripod. It's made of wood and uh, let's get it out of here. Okay, so as you can see here, this is a wooden tripod. Uh, it's called a Geoptic tripod. And uh, it's pretty large. <clears throat> I kind of wish it was a bit smaller, like you could probably retract it more. But I uh, know this is how it comes. So it might be a pain to carry around, but uh, at least this is a, a really good tripod and a very, very sturdy one. And it came with a manual and just one uh, little knob here, which I'll have to check what it is for. But um, it is pretty, it's just very heavy and, uh, well, very, Compared to most tripods, this is pretty heavy and it's just very bulky, but um, let's see. And this came with it. So I'm going to open it up right now on the ground and I'll try to uh, kind of mount the mount on top of it and we'll see what everything looks like all together. So uh, I know this will be kind of a pain to carry around to the desert maybe because it's so big, but um, actually, I mean, to, we'll compare with my other tripods, but. It's not too big, it's just a bit bigger than, than most. Like I think the other ones are like from here to here. 
so we have some extra land there but it's good uh, so let's see what everything looks like together and so this was it all the boxes are now open and here you can see the mount all set up with a telescope on top so far we are very happy with the mount it is still new to us and we are still learning it but you should expect to see this mount in our videos for many many years to come and here is the mount itself on the tripod and lastly here it is in action make sure to watch our new mount reveal video to learn much more about the mount the encoders and the overall features we'll see you guys next time and class guys Thank you.